So I was looking at some of the producer notes, and it appears that Robin Hood was the most talked about name on Wall Street bets over the past week. Not surprising, given what it went through today, but I'm curious, what does the sentiment look like? Is it mostly positive, mostly negative, kind of everyone just talking about the IPO in general? Yeah, um, so Robinhood is by far the most uh, talked about stock on Wall Street bets right now. It's actually, the volume is almost double that of uh, the number two stock, which is uh, AMD. And the, uh, the, the sentiment is very, very mixed, uh, close to 50-50. Uh, half of the people there are very bullish on the stock. They use it a lot, obviously. Um, and then the other half, uh, you know, they are quite negative on the stock. And I think um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens, right? Uh, because with every other uh, meme stock, uh, the sentiment is always overwhelmingly positive. And with Robinhood, it, uh, it's quite different. Oh, that's really interesting. And it also helps kind of quantify what Kate Rooney was just talking about, which is that this is certainly a name that's quite polarizing. Uh, and we saw, you know, evidence of that in today's trading with it being up just a little under 1%. Uh, given that, do you expect Robinhood to become a meme stock in and of itself? It was kind of the, the poster child of the meme stock. It was a gateway to this whole uh, idea in the first place. But given some of the polarity there... Is there a chance that it, too, becomes one? I think Robinhood is always going to be talked about a bit um, amongst uh, Wall Street bets and that community. But I am a skeptical that is going to remain in, let's say, the top 10 or even the top 20, uh, just because there's so many other companies out there where the sentiment is much more positive. Um, and, you know, the uh, it's just... There's brands that users actually want to get behind. And if you look at the comments, uh, Robinhood is not one of those right now. Mm. Speaking of meme stocks and one that does or two names, at least, that do tend to see a lot of positive sentiment on Wall Street bets, GameStop and AMC. Historically, those have been kind of what we think of when we think of meme stocks. Uh, but they're kind of slipping in terms of popularity, in terms of the frequency in which you're seeing them talked about on the platforms. Uh, does that signal to you that there could be kind of an end to this frenzy surrounding these two names, or do you think it's temporary? Um, I think it's temporary. So what happened this week is you actually saw uh, five of the uh, mega mega cap tech stocks that move into the top 10. So we're talking like uh, Apple, Tesla, uh, Microsoft, etc. And that was really surprising because, you know, these are trillion dollar companies, the floats are enormous. And, you know, the fact that uh, the Redditors are, uh, are talking that much about just, you know, very uh, companies that are always just up there is, is quite surprising. Um, so I think uh, it's a temporary thing. Obviously, uh, those stocks had really good earnings and, you know, they were in the news a lot, which fueled some of that discussion. But I, I do expect some of the uh, traditional Reddit darlings like uh, AMC and GameStop to, uh, to, to get back up there soon. Yeah, and big tech also doesn't typically have as much short interest. So do you think the whole kind of short squeeze idea is in the past, or are people still really targeting potential short squeezes as well? I think oh, I think it's broadened. I think uh, I think they do look at short squeezes. If you actually look at some of the comments, uh, some of the due diligence is on how much short interest there is. But I think, uh, you know, uh, they're always looking at good opportunities to invest in long term. I just think that... Uh, big cap tech, it's a little bit uh, too obvious, right? Like, uh, you know, if you ask anyone on the street uh, what to invest in, they'll, they'll, they'll probably say one of those names. <laughs> Makes sense. Although it's interesting this year, there is a basket of retail favorites that does continue to outperform the professionals. So it's worth following this. It's worth uh, hearing your perspective. Justin Zen, thanks for tracking what's going on on these messaging boards. We appreciate it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.